Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kate Winch, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I'm thrilled you're here. This is an Abundance Tapping Workshop. It's an introduction to a seven-week program that starts next week. And the theme we have today is receive, and it's all about releasing sabotage so you can receive more abundance, more love, more support in your life. And we're going to start with a little visualization, and then I'll talk a little bit about tapping and how it works if you're new. If anyone's new to tapping, put it in the chat just so I know, because you may all be familiar with tapping. Rachel, are you new to tapping or have you done it before? I'm pretty new. I mean, I think I've, I've, I've come across it a few times, but not like just tapping. Like, I've, you know, it's like it's been a, a piece of something. Okay, cool. Welcome. So, um, so what we're going to do is a visualization. I'll talk a little bit about tapping and how it works. And then um, we'll work with um, several of you today. Even if I don't work with you today, you'll get what we call the barring benefits. And my intention is by the end, you'll be feeling inspired, expanding your capacity to receive and to uh, shine and succeed and allow more support, more love, more abundance, more joy in your life. So <sighs> turn off any distractions, hands on your heart, close your eyes, three deep breaths. Taking a moment to set the intention of today's session. Thinking about what you want to let go of and bring in. You can keep your hands on your heart or stretching your fingers and toes, loosening your jaw. Inhaling deeply. And imagine you're on a beautiful white sandy beach. The sun is shining. The waves are lapping against the shore. And you're carrying a big heavy backpack that's weighing you down with all any burdens and stresses of current situations and burdens of stresses of the past, old beliefs, negative emotions. Um, and you realize how exhausting it is carrying all these burdens with you, these stories that aren't even true. Most of the things we believe aren't even true. So it's so good to question our thoughts and go, is this thought I'm having actually true? And more often than not, the answer is no, especially if it's a negative one. So you put this heavy backpack down, it weighs about 50 pounds and you set it down and this whole weight is lifted off your shoulders. And you call back your power from all dimensions of time and space. You just keep walking. Remembering your magnificence. Remembering your greatness. Relaxing. It's safe to relax and enjoy the journey listening to your inner wisdom each and every step of the way. Deep breath. And you lie down in the sand. And the waves are lulling you to sleep. As you go deeper and deeper relaxed. Breathing in divine love into your mind, into your heart. 
into each and every cell of your body. Deep breath. Taking a moment now to connect with your younger self. giving them a hug and asking them, what do you need for your healing today so that you feel safe, loved and supported? Often if we're freaking out or anxious, it's that very young part of us that's afraid. So your adult self giving your younger self a hug. What do you need today? Deep breath, giving them a hug. Traveling down the timeline of your life, letting them know the younger self, they can call on you anytime, placing them in your heart and as you travel down the timeline of your life. to your future self, it's a year from today. If you were waving a magic wand, what would it look like? Allow yourself to expand your mind to all the amazing possibilities that are available to you. Where are you living? Who are you with? What daily rituals and practices are going on for you daily, knowing that what we do every day creates our world? How's your health, your relationships? Are you doing what you love? Perhaps you're working less, earning more, And taking a moment to look and see how your finances are, growing your money, increasing your money each and every day, really expanding your capacity to receive love, support, abundance, joy, well being. And ask your future self, what do I need to let go of to bring me closer to this future self vision? Knowing one of the keys to creating a life you love, a lot of the time it's more about letting go than adding things. Maybe it's uh, an addiction. It could be to the internet or 
sugar or drinking or obsessing about something or um, turning against the self, the inner critic. Letting go of mind clutter, body clutter, physical clutter, making space for more good to come in. Asking your future self, what actions do I need to take to move me in the direction of my dreams? Deep breath. See your future self. How do you feel? Powerful, peaceful, happy, healthy, wealthy, loved, safe, creative, cherished. Breathing in these feelings, maybe pick three feelings and breathe in this future self vision into your mind, into your heart, into each and every cell of your body. Sending this vision out to the universe letting go of any attachment of how it's meant to look. Trusting the divine order of your life safe to relax and enjoy the journey, listening to your inner wisdom each and every step of the way. Deep breath, giving your future self a hug and coming back to your present self. If you like, you can put your hands on your heart again. And the final question asking, what do I need today for my healing? Asking your inner wisdom so that I feel safe and loved and supported and I'm really getting my needs met. Stretching your fingers and toes. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. And a warm welcome to you all. So glad you're here. This is my favorite time of, one of my favorite times of the week where we all come together and tap. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate Winch, originally from England, hence the accent. I live in San Francisco and I've had my own holistic business for over 25 years and I love helping people get unstuck. And uh, I used to have a fear of public speaking. You would never get me in front of a room. And now I teach all the time. I was so shy. And my passion is helping people get their gifts out there to the world. Because a lot of the time we can be hiding out. Um, tapping. I've been teaching tapping for about 15 years. I reached, recently was um, featured in a movie documentary, which is coming out in the end of May. And and I was sharing like, it still blows me away on most days, whether I'm using it on myself or with my clients. I love it because once you know how to do it, you can do it on yourself. So um, it's like acupuncture without the needles, negative emotions get stored in the body. They create a disruption in our energy system and the tapping gets everything flowing again. Um, what else can I tell you? There's an expression, try it on anything. You can use it for physical pain, health issues, money stress, um, sabotage. That's one of the things we're going to talk about, that part of us that will sabotage our success by doing something that really gets us off track. Um, relationship stuff, any blocks to in the way of you receiving more. Sometimes we can give, give, give and not receive. So um, I got into this about 15 years ago. My aunt's a therapist in England and I remember tapping on abundance. I was a little skeptical because I thought this is so weird. You tap and say these words. And then uh, that day I received like $900 in cash as an unexpected gift. And I was like, this works. And that year I had one of my best years in my practice till that, um, till that date, up until that date. And so 
um, I find when we feel stuck, we tap, it just clears our energy. And I like to call it abundance tapping because it just helps raise our vibration. When we let go of guilt and shame and fear and anger and all these negative emotions we can have as humans that can keep us very stuck and going around in circles raises our vibration and we just attract more good and we're open to receiving more good. So let me see, it's like acupuncture without the needles. We're just gonna go over the points real quick and then we're gonna dive in because we just have you know, a certain amount of time. So this is the karate chop point, either hand. You can practice if you're new or if you're not, it's kind of fun to do. I'll lead you through a sequence of words so you'll tap just below the pinky, either hand. And then you'll repeat the words after me and then we'll go here where the brow ends near the nose, side of the eyes, underneath the eyes, nose, chin, collarbone, underneath the arm, rib cage, two wrists together, top of the head, any questions about the tapping points? You can unmute yourself or the tapping before we move on. And um, we're going to start. So I'm going to work with Rachel first. Um, oh, she's just as <laughs> good. Just um, think of everyone. I'd like you to think about an issue that you're you're dealing with. Anywhere you're sabotaging, any blocks to receiving. Where are you feeling stuck? And um, Rachel, if you'd like to unmute yourself and then just tell me in a nutshell how I can best support you. So it could be like, I want to let go of sabotage and bring in abundance, or I want to let go of anxiety and bring in uh, more joy, whatever it is, or my fear of shining or, yeah. How can I best support you? Um, great. Um, I think I did, <laughs> I think I did kind of, I couldn't hold back a part of myself that um, went into like a frustrating uh, space with one of my housemates who I find extreme, like pretty awful. But it's like, I already know that. I know she reminds me of my sister and I know, you know, like I know all the things and I've come a long way, but um, I got into an entanglement, which today, this morning, where it's like, there's, if you start, if you go here, you're not, you're not going to win. Like you're not going to win anything except for several hours of not feeling great or feeling angry or whatever. Like that's all you get, so, but I couldn't help myself. So just like maybe addressing like healing, whatever that part is, you know, protecting or, um, or just that sabotage, like where not, not that I want to like alienate that part of myself because I'm sure it has something valuable, um, but but just you know try a different method. And what do you want to bring in? Um, safety and like a sense of uh, like a sense of my my greatness. Not to be egotistical, but I when I was on the beach in that visualization, it was like oh my god, you know this this my greatness is that's kind of what I'm losing when I get into it with her. <laughs> so. Yeah. It sounds like, yeah, there can be a loss of power. Sometimes we, yeah. you know, in a conflict with someone, we lose our power or whether it's in our business or our relationships or our health, there can be a loss of power. Yeah. And it then, it's shame. It's like a sense of my, myself as like, you know, I'm worthy of my own respect and I'm worthy of, you know, so I'm pretty hard on myself when I get into it with people. <laughs> so. Yeah. So what number is that? The shame and frustration, the loss of power, 10 is high, zero is low. Um, like a five or a six at the highest. Yeah. And where do you feel that in your body? My midsection, like right, maybe right below my belly button. Okay. Right all right, so um, for everyone, I'm going to keep it general, but if you have a loss of power, if you're feeling stuck or frustrated or whatever area, pick the area you're stuck in, give it a number zero to 10, tap along, you're all on mute so you can change the words anytime. And Rachel, you can change the words if you like. Um, we always start with the part of us that doesn't want to change. So tapping here. 
even though I have all this uh, shame and frustration. So you want me to repeat back? Yeah. So even though I have all this shame and frustration. All this loss of power. All of this loss of power. And I don't know how I can let this go. And I don't know how I can move forward. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. I wonder who I'd be without this. I wonder who I'd be without this. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself fully anyway. Deep breath. <sighs> even though I have all this frustration and shame and loss of power. Even though I have all this frustration and shame and anger and loss of power. Perfect. And I don't know how to let this go. And I don't know how to let this go or what it needs from me. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard. I have to be on guard. I have to protect myself. I have to protect myself. But I accept who I am. But I accept who I am. And I appreciate my feelings. And I appreciate my feelings to the best of my ability. Deep breath. Even though I have all this frustration, shame, and loss of power about this situation. Even though I have all this frustration, shame, and loss of power about this situation. I'm open to the possibility I can let this go. I am open to the possibility that I can let this go somehow. And empower the parts of me. And empower the parts of me. That feel surprisingly calm and confident. That feel surprisingly calm and confident. It is safe to relax about this. It is safe to relax about this. It's safe to be powerful. It's safe to be powerful and empowered. Deep breath. And then we're going to the eyebrows. All this frustration and shame. All this frustration and shame. Side of the eyes, all this loss of power. All of this loss of power. Underneath the eyes, this part of me that wants to sabotage my success. This part of me that wants to sabotage my success. Knows all this stress and worry. Knows all this stress and worry. Chin all this fear and worry about the future. All of this fear and worry about the future and the past. Past all this um, loss of power. All of this loss of power. And underneath the, go, go on, what were you going to say? going to say shame or pain. Yeah, very good. Underneath the arms, all this shame and pain. All this shame and pain. Rib cage, all this anger and resentment at them and about this situation. All this anger and resentment then and about the situation. Two wrists together, all this old guilt and shame about what I did or didn't do. All this old guilt and shame about what I did and didn't do. Top of the head, all this loss of power. All this loss of power. Eyebrows, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm letting go of being general manager of the universe. I'm letting go of being general manager of even myself. And, the <laughs> and I give this to the universe to handle or God or whatever you believe in. And I give this to the universe to handle. Knows I don't need to do this all by myself. I don't need to do this all by myself. Shin, it's safe to relax about this. It's getting safer to relax about this. <laughs> and trust the divine order of my life. And trust the healing and divine order of my life. That good will come out of these challenges. Good and peace will come out of these challenges. Rib cage and good lies before me. And good lies before me and all people. Mm, beautiful. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. 
It is safe to shine. It is safe to shine. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. It's safe to succeed. It's safe to succeed. I love knowing everything's working out for me. I love knowing everything is working out for me. I forgive everyone. I forgive everyone. For not being who I wanted them to be. For not being who I want them to be. Including myself. Including myself. And I set, and I set myself free. I set myself free. I let go of the past with ease. I let go of the past with ease. And I trust the process of life. I trust the process of life. It's safe to shine. It's safe to shine. It's safe to be me. <laughs> it's safe to be me. It's safe to be happy. It's safe to be happy and empowered. It's safe to enjoy the journey. It's safe to enjoy my life. It's safe to be powerful. It's safe to be powerful. Anything else you'd like to bring in? I think that's, no, I don't see, I don't feel anything immediately. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. All is well. All is well. Life loves me. Life loves me. Close your eyes, deep breath. Tuning in zero to 10, this stress and frustration and shame. What number are you at? A three is what I'm. Wonderful. So you went from a five, six to a three. What are you present to? How are you feeling? Good. I mean, I'm a little, like, I, I noticed there's a little bit of pain, like, still in my, um, like, around my ovaries. And there's parts of me that are like, what? Like, this is different. And are you sure it's safe to, like, claim all these things? Um, but, yeah, I feel, I'm interested and I feel good. So <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing that great topic. And you'll keep tapping and the great thing about the tapping is you can change the words anytime so you can say anything you you you, you want if we were in a session doing a one-on-one a, a -on -one, we'd probably go deeper into the issue and right. hear more about how it is and i'd probably have you have a more of a vent about the situation yeah. and this is kind of a shorter round in the in the group but the tapping is really good if you're triggered just to go around the points and have a good vent about like oh my gosh i'm so mad about this blah blah blah, blah you know and get it all up and out okay cool yeah thank you yeah any uh final questions thoughts comments before we move on um just that it like felt almost I, i've had this it's remem i'm remembering that it was a part of a session with a another person that it's not her full thing but it was like a piece of it and that it was really fun and like it was kind of like a roller like a roller coaster of like you know yay i get to anyway yeah that's the picture i have is it's kind of coming through things and going around. And stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's really nice to kind of give yourself room to feel your feelings and say, you know what, even though I have this issue, I love myself. And it's like, oh yeah. And then you go on a journey from the negative to the positive. So yeah, great work, Rachel. Thank you so much for bringing that great topic. Um, Okay, questions, thoughts, comments. We're going to do another round. Hope you, hopefully you're feeling lighter. And um, I'm just going to share about the um, seven-week program that starts next week if you guys want to join it. It's a really fun uh, structure every week where we just dive in and tap. And it's such a nice reset in terms of clearing out the monkey mind, raising your vibration so that you can feel more peaceful and powerful. And a lot of, uh, thank you, Uzma. And then um, we're going to work with Yumi next. Great. Thank you. Hey, hey. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi. Tell me what you'd like to let go of and bring in. Um, I feel like, so I feel like I noticed that as the world opens up and I'm socializing again, I think I'm much more aware of um, internal assumptions 
negative assumptions I bring coming into um, new social situations that I've always been doing my whole life and I'm much more conscious of it. And so I feel like some like negative beliefs I have are like, I need to work hard to gain approval. I don't, other people know more than I do. Um, I'm a loser and I need to prove people that I'm not. So I think, um, I'm not exactly sure what the, the root statement it boils down to, but I think it's about feelings of unworthiness and feeling like I have to people please. Mm. in all situations so automatically assuming that I'm starting from a low place and I have to build myself up to gain people's approval and acceptance mm -hmm. what number is this unworthiness zero to ten um I would say a seven say again seven yeah and where do you what's the primary emotion um maybe anxiety like when i'm socializing it's that feeling of sort of that frantic feeling of like oh i have to say the right things and not mess up mm -hmm. so so maybe anxiety discomfort um insecurity shame those are some of the keywords that Mm -hmm. okay this is another great topic so um you know i usually say this we our most common limiting belief is i'm not good enough i'm not worthy mm -hmm. or deserving and so that is like the universal common limiting belief and um also we can have that part of us that wants to get people's approval and it's often to do with safety like I have to be, I've got to make everyone happy to feel safe, you know, so I can relax and it's important they like me and that can be exhausting. So yeah, great topic. Anything else to say before we move on? Um, yeah, I, I think I think my long-term goal is I would just love to enter any social situation without feeling that I am not, good enough feeling. I just want to feel confident and um, relaxed <laughs> mm. without feeling like I have to prove myself constantly. Thank you. Let's tap here. Even though I have this old limiting belief. Even though I have all this old limiting belief. That I'm not good enough. That I am not good enough. And I don't know how to let it go. And I don't know how to let it go. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. Um, part of me is convinced I'm not worthy. Part of me is convinced I'm not worthy. And I have this need for um, their approval. And I have this constant need for their approval. I wonder who I'd be without this. I wonder who I'd be without this. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. Deep breath. Even though I have this struggle and part of me is convinced I'm not good enough. Even though I have this struggle and part of me is convinced that I'm not good enough. And I don't know how to let this go. And I don't know how to let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard. I have to be on guard. I have to protect myself. I have to protect myself. But I accept who I am. But I accept who I am. And I appreciate my feelings. And I appreciate my feelings. Deep breath. Even though I have this old limiting belief that I'm not worthy or deserving. Even though I have this old limiting belief that I'm not deserving or worthy. And I need to get their, their approval. And I need to get everyone's approval. 
I'm open to the possibility I can let this go. I'm open to the possibility that I can let this go. And empower the parts of me. And empower the parts of me. That feels surprisingly calm and powerful. That feels surprisingly calm and powerful. I love knowing I'm worthy and deserving. I love knowing I'm worthy and deserving. It is safe to be me. It is safe to be me. It's safe to shine and succeed. It's safe to shine and succeed. It's safe to relax and enjoy the journey. It's safe to relax and enjoy the journey. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. Deep breath. And then we're going to the eyebrows. This old limiting belief that I'm not worthy. This old limiting belief that I'm not worthy. Side of the eyes. Part of me is convinced I'm not deserving. Part of me is convinced I'm not deserving. Underneath the eyes. All this uh, worrying about what they think. All this worrying about what they think. All this need for their approval. All this need for their approval. Chin. All this fear and worry about what they think. All this fear and worry about what other people think. This part of me that thinks I need everyone's approval. This part of me that thinks I need everybody's approval. What if that's not true? What if that's not true? It's so exhausting. It's so exhausting. And I'm tired of suffering about this. And I'm tired of suffering about this. The truth is some people will love me and some people won't. The truth is some people will love me and some people won't. And that's okay. And that's okay. Um, I'll be me and the people that love me will love me. I'll be me and the people that love me will love me. And the people that don't won't. And the people that don't won't. <laughs> it is safe to relax about this. It is safe to relax about this. It is safe to shine. It is safe to shine. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. I am worthy and deserving of all the I'm, good the universe has for me. I am worthy and deserving of all the good things the universe has for me. Letting go of this fear and worry. Letting go of this fear and worry. Letting go of this anger and frustration and resentment about this situation. Letting go of this anger and frustration and resentment and shame about this situation. Letting go of this old guilt and shame about what I did or didn't do. Letting go of this old guilt and shame about what I did or didn't do. Letting go of this loss of power. Letting go of this loss of power. Letting go of worrying about what they think. Letting go of worrying about what they think. It is safe to relax about this. It is safe to relax about this. Letting go of being general manager of the universe. Letting go of being general manager of the universe. I give this to the universe to handle. I give this to the universe to handle. It is safe to be me. It is safe to be me. It's safe to shine. It's safe to shine. I, I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. Letting go of this pressure to be perfect. Letting go of this pressure to be perfect. Letting go of worrying about what they think. Letting go of worrying about what other people think. Letting go of this need for their approval. Letting go of this need for their approval. I am worthy and deserving of all good. I am worthy and deserving of all good. It is safe to shine and be me. It is safe to shine and be me. I'm worthy and deserving whether they like me or not. I'm worthy and deserving whether they like me or not. Anything else you'd like to bring in, you? Um, I just want to feel confident all the time. <laughs> Um, it's safe to be confident and powerful all the time. It's safe to be confident and powerful all the time. I'm allowed to be confident and powerful all the time. 
I'm allowed to be confident and powerful all the time. I deserve to be confident and powerful all the time. I deserve to be confident and powerful all the time. I love being confident and powerful all the time. I love being confident and powerful all the time. I own my power fully. I own my power fully. I own my greatness. I own my greatness. I own my magnificence. I own my magnificence. I love feeling good about who I am. I love feeling good about who I am. Anything else you'd like to bring in? Um, I want to feel sexy all the time too. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I love feeling sexy and powerful. I love feeling sexy and powerful. I love owning my sexiness. I love owning my sexiness. <laughs> I love feeling good about who I am. I love feeling good about who I am. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. What I think of me is my business. What I think of me is my business. Anything else? Um, I just want to always live in my zone of genius. Mm, beautiful. I love being in my zone of genius. I love being in my zone of genius. And I delegate everything else. I delegate everything else. <laughs> I choose to um, do what I love. I choose to do what I love. And delegate the rest. And delegate the rest. Life loves me. I love me. It's safe to shine and succeed. It's safe to shine and succeed. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. It's safe to have fun. It's safe to have fun. And own my power and my sexiness now. And own my power and sexiness now. All is well. All is well. Close your eyes, deep breath. <sighs> Zero to 10. Oh, it's like a two now. Thank you, Kate. Yay. That felt so good. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay, that was a great round. What are you present to? How are you feeling? Um, I just feel really, I just feel really present and grounded and good in my body. Wonderful. Any like I feel relaxed. Any next Sorry? right actions? Any next right actions? Your inner wisdom is saying as you move forward. Um, I think just give more space for my desires and to really let it let those desires and ambitions and visions run wild and free. Mm, wonderful. I love that. Great work. Great Thank work. you, Kate. Yeah, so good to see you. So good to see you too. <sighs> so we're going to do another round in a moment. Any questions, thoughts, comments before we move on? How are you all doing? Hopefully you're feeling lighter. And um, I just, before we're going to do a round of affirmations, I'm going to work with one more. Um, Kyle, I'll work with you in a moment if you like, if you want a turn. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit about the seven week program that starts next week before we do the final round. Uh, let's see, um, the link in the chat. So it's shine and succeed seven weeks. Um, it's every Thursday, one o'clock and it's just a lovely structure to clear resistance, procrastination, monkey mind so that you can live your best life. And let's see, they're recorded if you can't be live. It's 1 p.m. Pacific. You get a private session with me as well. And the uh, laser tapping recordings. And there's an early bird special of $3.97. So you save $100. You can click on that link. It takes you to PayPal. If you are on Venmo, you can Venmo at me at, at Kate Dash Winch, which is Venmo's kind of cool. So any questions about the tapping or the program before we move on? It starts next week and um, people report just letting go of procrastination. You know, what happens is you just feel more inspired and motivated to take action. People put themselves out there more and shine and letting go of worrying about what others think. 
um, blocks to success, blocks to receiving. So today we were talking about expanding our capacity to receive more good. When we let go of the guilt and the shame and the fear, we can actually receive more good. So um, any questions, you can put them in the chat. Um, if you want to join, I recommend signing up today so you can catch the early bird special. And I think that's everything. Okay, cool. Let's do another round. Kyle. Hi, Kate. I'm so hey, glad to be here. Oh, uh, I was, great to have you. I was dragging in very heavy boxes, um, trying to work off some anxiety when I was uh, when I was uh, before before I came here. And then I saw on the email that it said that it's just about to start. I was like, oh, thank God. So like, you know, I came running down. Um, my thing is, is that I just just today um, turned down a writing job and I'm really nervous about having turned it down. Um, and uh, I'm going to have to tell my husband Julius um, about it because unfortunately I told him about it in the first place, which I probably shouldn't have done. But um, the point is, is that um, there, this, one, um, this one person contacted me about writing for this site and it would, and uh, it was something that really wasn't so me, but I thought I could make it me, you know, if I, you know, customized it enough and it would work. Um, but um, I followed this uh, tarot reader online that, you know, was reading for my sign and, and was just was just saying, do not enter into a contract with these people who had like, you know, just don't do it, don't do it. And so I, so I was just like, well, is he talking about this or this? I threw an I Ching and it was like skull and crossbones. No, don't do it. I asked the same question 50 different ways and 50 different skull and crossbones show up, <laughs> you know, and so I... You know, really like, you know, looked inside and I was like, well, you know, um, they would have, you know, the stuff that I would produce, they would have ownership of it. I, I'm not sure this would be the right thing. So I, I wrote to uh, the person who contacted me in the first place. They said, oh, they love your writing and, you know, you can work for them. They, they're drawing up a contract. And so I just decided to just come clean. And I said, um, you know, I've, I even threw in the stuff about the I Ching and the tarot. I said, and I said, I just have sat with this. I don't think that it's the right thing. I'm Tell sorry. Me. I really got it. Tell but, me in a nutshell what you want to let go of and bring in so we can do a round before because we just I got want, time. right. So um, I want to let go of this fear of uh, of now that I've making done this, what will happen? Of, so making, of having mistake. made a mistake. Of having yeah. made a mistake. Yeah. What number is that? Zero to ten. That's about a 10 right now. Yeah. And where do you feel that in your body? Oh, in my chest, in my heart. Okay. So everyone, if you have a fear and this doubt and fear, right? You make a choice and you're like, oh my gosh, did I do the right thing? And that could be pretty common when we make a decision to second guess ourselves and sometimes doubt it. So um, if it's not your issue, pick something else and tap along and get the boring benefits. So here we go. Even though I have all this fear and worry that I've made a mistake. Even though I have all this fear and worry that I've made a mistake. And all this doubt about this decision I made. And all this doubt about this decision that I made. And I don't know how I can let this go. And I don't know how I can let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel possible. Maybe it doesn't feel possible. I wonder who I'd be without this fear and panic. I wonder who I'd be without this fear and panic. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. Close your eyes, deep breath. <sighs> Even though I have all this doubt and insecurity, part of me thinks I've made the wrong choice. Even though I have all this doubt and insecurity and part of me thinks I've made the wrong choice. And I don't know how to let this go. And you can change the words anytime if you like, Carl. And I don't know how to and let I this go. I don't know how to let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard. I have to be on guard. I have to protect myself. I have to protect myself. But I accept who I am. But I accept who I am. And I appreciate my feelings. And I appreciate my feelings. Deep breath. 
even though I have all this fear and worry that I made the right wrong choice. Even though I have all this fear and worry that I made the wrong choice. I'm open to the possibility I can let this go. I'm open to the possibility that I can let this go. And empower the part of me. And empower the part of me. That listens to my inner wisdom. That listens to my inner wisdom. Safe to relax about this. It's safe to relax about this. And trust the divine order of my life. And trust the divine order of my life. Deep breath. And then we're going to the eyebrows, all this fear and worry. All this fear and worry. Side of the eyes, all this guilt and shame. All this guilt and shame. All this fear that I made a mistake. All this fear that I made a mistake. All this lack of trust in myself. All this lack of trust in myself. This lack of trust in the universe. This lack of trust in the universe. Anything else you'd like to say about how it is for you? And in that show? Oh, I think we've covered it. Yeah. yeah. Is it what I'm saying resonating? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All this fear and worry. All this fear and worry. All this uh, um, old guilt and shame that I did and all didn't this, do. All this old guilt and shame about what I did and didn't do. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. All this pressure to be perfect. All this pressure to be perfect. What if I've made a terrible mistake? What if I've made a terrible mistake? What if I haven't? What if I haven't? What if I did the right thing? What if I did the right thing? I'd really like to trust myself. I'd really like to trust myself. Let go of being general manager of the universe. Let go of being general manager of the universe. And give this to the universe to handle. And give this to the universe to handle. I don't need to do it all by myself. I don't need to do it all by myself. It is safe to relax about this. It is safe to relax about this. And trust the divine order of my life. And trust the divine order of my life. That good will come out of these challenges. That good will come out of these challenges. And that good lies before me. And that good lies before me. It is safe to relax about this. It is safe to relax about this. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. I love feeling surprisingly calm and peaceful. I love feeling surprisingly calm and peaceful. I love um, having my back. I love having my back. I choose to have my back no matter what. I choose to have my back no matter what. I let go of turning against myself. I let go of turning against myself. I choose to have tremendous love and compassion for myself no matter what. I, I choose to have tremendous love and compassion for myself no matter what. If I made a mistake, so what? If I made a mistake, so what? There are so many possibilities available to me. There are so many possibilities available to me. And I can trust my inner wisdom. And I can trust my inner wisdom. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. It is safe to shine. It is safe to shine. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. I'm raising my vibration. I'm raising my vibration. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. What else would you like to bring in, Kyle? Anything else you can add? <sighs> I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. I'm so grateful for all the good in my life. I'm so grateful for all the good in my life. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. Everything's working out for me. Everything's working out for me. I'm tapping into my joy. I'm tapping into my joy. I'm tapping into my power. I'm tapping into my power. All is well. All is well. Close your eyes, deep breath. <sighs> Zero to ten, this fear and worry. I'd be a 
four, I think. That's great. You've come from a 10 to a four, a whole different energy. What are you present to now? How are you feeling? Um, still vulnerable, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very raw, but yeah. Yeah. A bit, a bit lighter, but still some remaining fear. What's the remaining concern that's left? For you the remaining fear what's your that that um opportunity um doesn't always knock twice you know yeah and you know if you really felt like oh i really wish i'd done it you could always contact them again and just say hey i've realized sitting with this that perhaps this would be a good thing for me like and they'll say yes or no but you know sit with it i'd, I'd meditate put it in your god box you know just let it go. And if you feel still guided to reach out to them, you can, you can check in and say, you know, I realized um, after sitting with this, it is something I'd like to do and see what they say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your, uh, for sharing that. It was a great topic. Any questions, thoughts, comments, Kyle, before we wrap up? No, thanks. Okay. Keep me posted. It's good to see you. See you. Okay, so let's just tap here, everyone. I love feeling calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful. I love knowing everything's working out for me. I'm expanding my capacity to receive all the good the universe has for me. I deserve joy. I love being me. I love getting my needs met. I love asking for what I want. Life loves me. All is well. Close your eyes, deep breath, and just take a moment listening to your inner wisdom and tune in and see what are the, what's the next right action, any next right actions. You may be feeling inspired, go, go dance, go clear your clutter, make that phone call you've been putting off. What is it you're guided to do? And thank you everyone for joining us. If you feel inspired to join the seven week program, it'd be awesome to have you. Remember you can catch the early bird today and um, it starts next week, seven weeks as a weekly structure. Any final questions, thoughts, comments as we before we wrap up? Drink. Oh yeah, you did the receive program. Thank you, Yumi. Yeah, it's really cool. It'll be along the same lines the receive the program that's coming up. So hopefully um, you'll join us and drink lots of water. Extend the pampering, and I'm sending you all much love. Mwah. I'm here if anyone has questions, I'm gonna stop the recording.